Before we start, let us first briefly introduce the Hebrew language. The users of the language are mostly based in Israel. The gray area on the left is the location of the country. On the right, the dark blue area indicates where Hebrew is a majority language, namely Israel. While the lighter blue is where Hebrew is a minority language. Here are the words relevant to this topic, all in phonetic form, and the words in quotes are corresponding English meaning. The vocabularies in the left column focus on the sounds v and b. While those in the right column focus on the sounds f and p. Let's assume that these words and their phonetic sequences are representative of what may occur in Hebrew. Furthermore, in your answers, consider the classes of sounds rather than individual sounds. Question A asks. If the and the are elephants of the same phoneme, are they in complementary distribution? In what phonetic environments do they occur? And if you can formulate a phonological rule stating their distribution, question B asks if the same rule or lack of a rule that describes the distribution of the and the. Apply to p and f. If not, why not? Question C states that here is a word with one vowel missing. Which one of the following statements is correct? Question D states that. Here is a word with one vowel missing. Which one of the following statements is correct? Question A asks you to consider these six additional Hebrew words and see if they support or disprove your original conclusions. First. We check the neighboring environments of v and b. They are marked in red and blue, respectively. Then we list out their respective environments and indicate the common features of each phone's environments in purple. For example, we observe the sound environments of v. Instead of saying things like v may appear before. A, or before er, or at the end of a word, we just summarize that they all share the feature of occurring only after vowels, and so we conclude v occurs only after vowels, and b occurs word initially and after consonants. Therefore, the two sounds are in complementary distribution. In step two, we find the default form and write the rule. We begin by stating our previous conclusion and observe that b has a wider distribution because it can occur not only after consonants but also word initially. So it's easier to set it as the default and then write the rule. If the sound b occurs after a vowel. It becomes the sound v. In step three, we now repeat the previous two steps to check the environments of v and p, marked again in red and blue respectively. Then we list out their respective environments and indicate the common features of each phone's environments in purple. We can conclude v occurs only after vowels, and p occurs word initially and 
after consonants. Therefore, the two sounds are in complementary distribution. Next, we find the default form and write the rule. We begin by stating our previous conclusion and observe that p has a wider distribution because it can occur not only after consonants but also word initially. So it's easier to set it as the default and then write the rule. If the sound p occurs after a vowel, it becomes the sound f. It's easy to see that the same rule that describes the distribution of b and v also applies to p and f. In step 5, we apply the rules. Here are two words, each with one for missing. The first can only insert b or v. And the second can only insert p or v. We observe that the sound environments underlined in the first word is after a consonant, and thus the sound b should be inserted. We also observe that the sound environments underlined in the second word is at the initial, and thus the sound p should be inserted. Finally, we take the additional six words into consideration. Here are the four sounds b, v, p, f are all in different colors. We see that only p obeys our original conclusions as it appears word initially. However, the other three sounds do not all follow our previous rules and the words which disobey the rules are circled in purple. Therefore, we are forced to revise the conclusions we reached based on our previous limited data, and that to establish more accurate rules, additional data should be considered. The following are answers from the publisher, which can be used as a reference.